Today I will be answering the question why the FDA's lack of oversight of dietary supplements poses a threat to the health and safety of patients. My name is Mariam Khan. I'm a pharmacy student at the Yukon School of Pharmacy working with Dr. C. Michael White, pharmacist and distinguished professor from the Yukon School of Pharmacy. The Dietary Supplement Health and Education Act of 1994 mandates the manufacturing of contamination and alteration free dietary supplements, but FDA approval of their quality isn't required. Therefore, products can be sold with an innocent until proven guilty mentality even if they are of low quality or ineffective. Here are a few examples of quality issues that have arisen. Alpha alpha, coriander, echinacea, garlic, ginkgo, Juniper, licorice, psyllium, and St. John War supplements sold in the U.S. were found to be contaminated with bacteria or mold. Several patients developed life-threatening medical conditions such as appendicitis, liver abscesses, and GI infections as a result. 37 different varieties of Kratom products were found to be contaminated with salmonella. This led to 199 serious adverse effects and 50 hospitalizations in 2017 and 2018. Many dietary supplements ranging from vitamins and minerals to herbs have been contaminated with heavy metal. Heavy metal contamination has been linked with dementia, trouble learning, brittle bones, and cancer. Supplements in Ayurvedic practice had especially high levels of heavy metals. There is more. Prescription, experimental, and banned drugs have been found in numerous dietary supplements, especially those used for muscle building, sexual dysfunction, and weight loss. Since they are not disclosed on the label, patients don't know how to avoid them and doctors in the emergency room are unaware of how to best treat these serious side effects. Finally, your dietary supplement supplier may be ripping you off by putting an effective part of the plant in the bottle, like using ginseng leaves or stems instead of the root, or switching high quality plant varieties with lower quality ones. Kava is a great example of this. Several years ago, some manufacturers replaced the kava in their products with a variety that was never used medicinally in their native countries because the locals knew it was unsafe. As a result, numerous cases of liver toxicity resulted around the world before the cause was discovered. Dietary supplement manufacturers may also intentionally fail to put in the active or blue ingredient entirely. This was the case with many products assessed in the New York attorney general investigation several years back. In addition, the dose of the active ingredient in dietary supplements could be much lower than what is promised on the bottle. How many dietary supplements are contaminated, adulterated, or missing the active ingredients promised on the label? We don't know because they haven't been assessed by the FDA or another regulatory body. The U.S. has a model, in God we trust, but with all these cases of malfeasance in the dietary supplement market, we should not extend that trust to them. There are reputable third-party laboratories that certify dietary supplements. Having the USP seal, the NSF seal, or consumer lab seal on the bottle means that you will get the ingredients you're paying for and the risk of microbial or heavy metal contamination as well. Your best bet is to buy dietary supplements that have these seals or are sold in a store where they assure all their products are verified by third-party independent laboratories, such as CVS pharmacies. This issue hasn't put aside for too long, and it's time for you to take action to protect yourself and your families. We hope you found this video informative and will refer to the other videos in this series on the current state of dietary supplements. We do not know the specifics of your medical history, so these videos are not a suitable substitute for personalized medical care. Thank you for watching.